Hi, I am Hujaifa, the developer of Bitcoin Technology Limited. Today, I will show you how to disable the save button for the specific module by the client script in Zoho CRM. So let's get started. This is the Zoho CRM homepage, but first I will create a client script for the specific module. So now I want to create the script for the contact module. So go first the settings page. This is the settings page. Now I will select the client script under the developer space. Now click the new script for create a new script. Now here enter the name enter the name and description under the create script section and now select the category and page under the page detail section the category i select module and the page it's i select create page i select the create page now select the specific module do you want to create the script so i need select the contact module now select the layout now select the type under the event details section so you see the to event uh, under the type so you need must select the page event so i select the page event now you need now select the event you see the three event under the event one load event one set one change event and one save event but you need must select the one save event so i select the one save event and now click the next button here you can write the client script code i have already write a code so i just paste it here You see, the I fetch the email from the contacts module, and I have added a condition: the email value is empty. Then the function will show the alert and get the save button and disable the save button. So now I click the save button for save the script. the script added successfully now i create a new contact for the for check the save button has been disabled or not so now i create a new contact now select the contact now i will create a new contact to check the file save button has been disabled or not so now click the create new contact button and now enter the necessary field now you see i did not put the email value because uh, here I added a condition the email value is empty then the function then the script it show the alert and disable the save button so you see I did not put the email value so now I'll check the save button has been disabled or not if the save button is disabled then the script is show the alert and disable the save button so now I will click the save button and check. You see the script is showing uh, this alert. 
so i have uh, added this alert in the script so the save button has been disabled so now i will check save button when i put the email value in the save button is working or not so now i go to the now so now i go to put the email value mm. i put the email value okay now i will click the save button and check the save button is working or not because here i added a condition if the email value is empty then the function has been disabled here i put the email value so the function the save button is not disabled so now i will click the save button and check the button is working or not So you see the save button is working now. Thanks for watching our video.